Carer's Allowance and Other Benefits Usually, you cannot get carer's allowance if you get a state pension, contributory employment and support allowance, incapacity benefit, maternity allowance, bereavement or widow's benefits, severe disablement allowance, contribution-based job seekers allowance. But you can still claim an underlying entitlement. Underlying entitlement means you would usually get carer's allowance if you did not already get another benefit. To get an underlying entitlement, you have to apply for a carer's allowance as usual. An underlying entitlement can increase the amount of money you get from other benefits, or it might allow you to get other benefits for the first time. You should check if you can get an underlying entitlement. It may help you get more money. If you already get benefits, you should tell the benefits office if you start to get carer's allowance or tell them if you get an underlying entitlement. You will find the contact details for the right benefits office on letters they have sent you. Carer's allowance does not affect the disability benefit of the person you care for. It will not affect their state pension if they get one. You must check to see if carer's allowance would affect the benefits of the person you care for and you should think carefully about whether you should claim it. For more information or for help and advice, you can contact the benefit helpline you need by choosing from the list of the contact numbers in the description box below. Your National Insurance Record and Carer's Credit National insurance is money paid by everyone who is over 16 years old and earns over a certain weekly amount. Your national insurance record says how much money you have paid towards national insurance. National insurance is important. It is used to work out how much money you should get from benefits like state pension. Your state pension is important. It is the money you will get to live on when you no longer work because of your age. If you get carer's allowance, you will get credits to protect your national insurance record. This is to protect your state pension. If you do not get carer's allowance, you may still be able to get carer's credit. This is to help protect your national insurance record. To get carer's credit, you must care for someone for at least 20 hours a week. And the person you care for must usually get one of these benefits. Disability living allowance at middle or higher rate for personal care. The daily living component of personal independence payment, PIP. Attendance allowance or constant attendance allowance at the basic full day rate. Armed Forces Independence Payment If they do not get one of these benefits, you may still be able to get carer's credit. To claim carer's credit and for advice, contact the Carer's Allowance Unit. Their phone number is available in the description box. If you want to find out how to claim carer's allowance, check out the video linked on screen and subscribe to our channel.